Have you ever sat down to draw a portrait of someone just to give up an hour later because it looks like a third grader drew it? My favorite drawing hack for realistic and easy placement of facial features is using a grid. It's so simple to use. Let's take a look at how this works. The first step to creating a drawing using grids is to create the grids themselves. So in my example here, I have this printed picture and the size is six inches by eight inches. So what I'm gonna do for this example is I'm gonna create a one inch grid on the small image and I'm going to create a one and a half inch grid on the bigger sheet of drawing paper. That's gonna give me the same number of boxes on the small sheet as there are on the big sheet. When you grid the small paper, your printed image, you want to use black, black Sharpie or Micron pen or something dark or you won't be able to see it. So you're gonna use your ruler and you're gonna measure and make a mark every one inch all the way around on all four sides. If you don't measure and make a mark on all four sides, your lines will be crooked. You need those two marks on each edge to draw straight lines. So now what you're gonna do is match up each mark on the left and the right, use your ruler and draw perfectly straight lines, both vertically and horizontally. So now I have vertical and horizontal lines every one inch. Now what I'm going to do is create the exact same number of boxes on my drawing paper. And in order for this ratio to work with my nine by 12 drawing paper, I'm gonna make a one and a half inch grid. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing, only I'm gonna measure and make a mark every one and a half inches. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind when you draw the grid lines on the drawing paper, you want to use an incredibly light amount of pressure because after we draw the image, we're going to have to erase these grid lines. Otherwise, you're gonna have grid lines running all throughout your drawing and that's gonna look cheap and like garbage. So, very, very light lines. And then the last thing you want to do is actually number each box across the top and across the edge vertically. So I've got one through six and one through eight. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my drawing paper. Very lightly number. This will make it easier when you're drawing to line up or match up the boxes to where you are in the drawing process. Step number two. Yeehaw! Step number two is to now use your grid lines to draw the image on your drawing paper where the image lines cross the smaller grid, they're going to cross your larger grid in the exact same place, only it will be proportionately bigger. So, you just kinda have to pick a place to start. I'm drawing upside down right now, which is a little tricky, but not too bad. So let's say I wanna start where this neck is here. I'm gonna just use my grid lines I'm going to try to draw as accurately as possible, nice and slow. Now at this point, 
you really just need uh, the basic outline for the shapes. I wouldn't spend too much time trying to create all these different lines in the hair because that doesn't really have to be exactly matched up with the grid. Basically what we're focused on right now are matching up where the eyes are, where the lips are, the nose, the ear, and the shape of the head. So the next step after you have your outline drawing is to go in with your eraser and you're going to very carefully and gently erase all your grid lines. So as you can see, in a relatively short amount of time, you can get a very, very accurate outline drawing of facial features, save yourself a ton of time, save yourself a lot of anguish and agony, and just use this trick, use the grid to place facial features now from here, exactly where they belong. Where you choose to go is up to you, whether you want to work with colored pencil, <clears throat> this is that same face and this is actually a face with the same face reversed and this is done in colored pencil you could use oil pastel you could use paint you could use watercolor pen and ink use whatever medium uh, you love to work with um, and you can see how accurate and how detailed and how quickly you can get facial features uh, placed so that your portraits look so much better